Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Oh my god, I'm going to talk about some of the upcoming ships and a few of the info bombs that were dropped on us recently leading up to Gamescom 2016 uh, and via Batgirl's uh, show Ben's Day and ATV 100.2. Uh, it's spoilery if you're that way inclined, though I like to think of it more as lots of happy little Easter eggs. In Batgirl show Ben's Day episode 56, Nikki just asks Ben what is the next concept ship and that's also flyable, and he just replies, it's the Argo. Yes, it is the Argo. It's planned to be in 2.5 as well, so assuming that there aren't any blockers, we should have a sale uh, for the Argo utility ship when 2.5 goes live within the next few weeks. We saw the Argo at the beginning of the Morrow Tour. It's a utility ship, and according to its original design, has multiple uses and functions. Its belly module could be switched out for various roles, of that in aiding in repair, um, transporting goods and personnel from ship to ship or ship to planet, rescuing ejected pilots, and escape pods, and even boarding actions. I'd expect CIG, though, to have cooked up some new extra little modules and uses too. I'll put all the links to the ships we're talking about and their original concepts and that sort of jazz uh, on screen if I can, but if not, in the description below. We also know that there's going to be a ship reveal at Gamescom. Now, people originally thought it might have been the Argo, but I doubt that's the case now. At Gamescom, uh, I think they said they reveal a new concept ship and they unveil a ship in person at one of the gatherings at Gamescom. Um, so, they plan to have 2.5 out by Gamescom, and even possibly 2.6, although I do think that's unlikely, but it is certainly possible. Uh, in ATV 100.2, there was a few frames where we could see um, various ships that are being worked on. There was literally a whiteboard, and written on the whiteboard was the list of things to do, uh, of stuff that's ready for concept, that's in concept, where stuff's been allocated to. So this is pretty big, actually, uh, and we're talking uh, more about that in a moment, actually, but but it's clearly written on the board that the Terrapin is ready for concept sale. So this could be the ship that they plan to unveil at Gamescom. The original concept of the Aegis Terrapin is a tough nut to crack. The Terrapin is the most heavily armoured of the base price spacecraft on the market. Originally designed for long-range survey missions in dangerous star systems, the Terrapin's design philosophy involves wrapping the ship in additional layers of armour and reserving a significant amount of engine power to host the largest shield generator in its class. Terrapins are popular among private miners uh, with an equipment mount and a small storage hold that can be converted for valuable material materials or minerals in fact in this case so this might have changed or evolved somewhat but this might not be the gamescom ship though <laughs> they they may have planned that for after gamescom so some of the other theories for the gamescom reveal ship are the bengal because we saw some of it recently and we'll, we'll do an episode specifically on giant ships uh, and the bengal it could be the Idris, it could be the Polaris Corvette, although CIG are pairing with Intel at this event, so I doubt they're using AMD-named product for a ship. Uh, the F7A military variant Hornet, or the new Hornet, uh, the F8 Lightning, um, or even an alien ship such as the Volpa Bomber. We do know that the booth, as I said, is sponsored by Intel, and it's going to be set up like the bridge of an Idris. Oh my god, I do hope there's multi-crew Idris action going on at Gamescom, that's super random, oh, hype, hype! Anyway, there are a few more ships written on the board, so let's discuss them briefly. Um, we, LA have the Anvil Hurricane, and there was an original concept for the Hurricane, though I expect it has changed somewhat. Uh, some ships avoid dangerous encounters with speed, some with stealth, and others with maneuverability. The Anvil Hurricane's philosophy is that it should always be able to blast anything that gets in the way of out of the sky. The Hurricane won't win any races, and its electronic signature won't let you sneak behind enemy lines, but it features a wide array of fully customised small ball weapon hardpoints, plus the ability to customise weapon types in several ways. Hurricanes are often used by militia squadrons and private organisations seeking to add a heavy to their lineup. Below that on the board, we saw that the UK, or Foundry 42 UK, uh, have been given the Origin 600, the Banu Merchantman, and the Aegis Eclipse. 
it seems that the Banu Merchantman has been allocated to Foundry 42 and me maybe being worked on now. So that will be quite exciting for people that want the Banu, such as myself and pretty much everyone else. The Origin 600 uh, is the elite range of Origin Jumpworks ships, uh, which we can see from an old galactic guide. I don't know anything about it other than that, unfortunately. Uh, the Aegis Eclipse, I have no idea what the Eclipse is. With a name like uh, Eclipse though, maybe a stealth ship, maybe an E-War ship, maybe something combined between them, maybe none of them. Who really knows? I certainly don't. Ready to Concept was written under that, and it was the Origin 85X and the MISC Racer. So the Origin 85X is the shuttle that comes with the 890 jump uh, and the MISC Racer, I assume a working title, is, uh, I assume again, what it sounds like, a racing ship from MISC. Um, so I assume that will compete with the M50, the 350R and the other racers. That's the idea there, maybe. Uh, in concept, the Lightning. So the Lightning, the F8, uh, is on its way, but it's a ship that is unlikely to see a concept sale. Should be reserved for rare cases in the Persistent Universe and for Squadron 42. It's basically the UEE's heavy fighter. Um, let's have a quick read of its original concept. Space superiority designed as the next generation super space superiority fighter, particularly with fighting the Vandal in mind. It's more nimble, more heavily armoured, uh, fighter craft than its F7 predecessor, discarding the second turret for more fixed weaponry. The Lightning is designed to take out any target that is in front of it, and it's easy to get that target in front of it. So there you have it. The Argo is confirmed for 2.5, at least planned, uh, as the next flyable concept ship as well. So it will be flyable as well as on concept sale at the same time, uh, which will be pretty cool if you're into that sort of stuff, that little utility craft. There's loads more to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about capital ships and space stations with special attention to the Bengal, uh, since we saw so mu much of the Bengal, and Grim Hex or Green Imperial Hex, which we saw in great detail on on uh, the ATV 100.2 episode. Uh, we'll talk about that on Saturday in the news, but also a special episode on Sunday too, just because there's so much going on. Don't forget to comment on our Star Citizen content throughout July to be in for a chance to win a Dragonfly. Um, and if it's not July anymore, then there almost certainly is a very similar giveaway for a different ship. So check that out. Uh, liking and subscribing really does help me out, guys. But in any case, whatever, I will see you in the verse.